Shout out to my guy right here for making sure that I could actually make it to the game because Pharaoh's Fanatics are absolutely wild and the parking lot is super full. All right, so just pulled up to the Highland uh, Hamilton game. I am super excited because I want to see Brendan Wright uh, do his thing, uh, Javen Wright. Also got to see what Highland's got up their sleeve. Caleb Herbert and company over there, Connor Cullimore. Anyways, I'm gonna get to this action and be right back at the end of the first quarter. Probably show them some love in the second half. more legendary than Hamilton's football program is their student section, the dog pound, notorious for doing a lot of things. And I think they orchestrated the drone incident earlier that was delaying the game. And how did y'all bring this lightning to create a delay again? Hey, look, you know, we always got Hamilton faith come, in our we guys. bring a storm, baby. Never out of the game. We always baby. got faith in our guys. We just needed some time to talk it over, you know. Everybody says it's easy to coach, but I'm gonna find out from their student section what they need to do. Hey, Coach Z, all I gotta say, man, we looking good out there. We'll be fine after a little bit. We a second half team, so we never out of the game. Our O-line's got a block. Saints gotta throw the ball. If we being honest, better play calling. We need better play calling. That's all it is. Better play calling. Early the next morning. So I officially made it over here to Highland to catch the uh, resumption of uh, the game last night since it was postponed and I don't know how they're getting everybody motivated but the Highland crowd still looks like it's kind of full and I'm gonna get to this game and I'll check back in At the end of the half, uh, Highland's fully holding it down. Hamilton's really struggling. They seem to 
I think they're having trouble with the delay, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Highland is fully amped up and ready to go. Uh, Cole Moore looks like he's ready to break out in the second half. Same way that he came out in the first half. Herbert looks like he's got the offense clicking on all cylinders. But we'll see what happens in the second half. We'll be right back. What are you working on over here? Because it looks like you guys got the formula, got the recipe for uh, Hamilton. It's just about checking your offense, man. It's getting to your third and uh, third and fourth guys. Is what I'm looking at right now. A anything about Hamilton that surprised you at all? No, uh, we came out with game plan really well. It's, um, I mean, when you game plan really well and you make your practices faster than the game and everything slows down in the game, you play to your best. Nothing surprised you about this Hamilton squad? We just came out hot. We came out with a lot of energy, and I think that really helped us. The student section was loud last night. Got you students. still got some people that, did they camp out over here? I don't know. It's it's crazy. You still These got full stands. Crazy. Farrell's fanatics are, are nuts yeah. out here. Uh, what did you guys do last night when you found out that you guys were going to have a 12 hour delay? Uh, I was a little disappointed, honestly, because I thought we were going to keep it running. You never know what's going to win. Hamilton's gonna come out like. But. Did you grab food? Did you play some Fortnite? Did you get to sleep? Like, what, what, what'd you do? I went home, grabbed some food, played, played a little Fortnite squads, you know, got a couple of dubs. Brock Farrell breaking out all the tricks, showcasing some razzle dazzle. But man, I am hoping that this Hamilton team can figure it out and find their way. Uh, we're gonna get to that fourth quarter. with three touchdowns, all by Cullimore. That's yeah. how you do that quick Highland math. <laughs> Connor Cullimore had three touchdowns. Highland's an impressive team. What did you see with this Hamilton team? You know, I think they were caught off guard a little bit with Highland. Brendan Rice, obviously, is a huge talent out there. They're really talented. This is a very good football team. Don't get, you know, just don't let this score affect that. I think Hamilton is that proverbial game six team. Uh, once they get all their kids yep. back uh, from transfers and stuff like that, the Pierre Taylors, the Nick Arves, uh, this is going to be a completely different team. Uh, let's talk about Highland, though. They seem to be surprising everybody. I'm like, talk to me. How good is heavy hitting Connor Colomar? Oh, man. He is. He's impressive. I mean, he is just, he could be one of the best, you know, best players in the state. And he's really two -way not guy. He's a two-way guy, too. Exactly. What, what do you think about Caleb Herbert? I mean, he's a really good quarterback coming out and doing it against a team like Hamilton. It, it was a good showing. It really was. So yesterday when I talked to you, you were a little concerned about momentum. Uh, you still concerned about momentum? Hey, our kids are resilient, man. You know, we talked about you got to adapt and overcome. You can't be a victim of circumstances that they're overcomers, and we were. Last season, I, I brought it up, Farrell's Fanatics. How do you maintain this intensity over here at Highland? Like, what is it? What are you putting in the water? I, I don't know if I'm putting anything in the water. Maybe it's all the Gatorade we drink at halftime. Um, but we we just talk about it. it. doesn't matter who our opponent is. We play to the Highland standard. You know, and so that's how we want to practice and play. Be good, I promise you. You're going to get your recognition that you need. Keep grinding, Brody. Keep grinding. Hey, mathematically, we're trying to figure out exactly how many touchdowns you had. I believe you had the hat trick and you passed for a touchdown. Um, what did it mean for you to do that against what's considered a very tough and talented Hamilton team? Um, well, first of all, I want to shout out our line. They did a heck of a job. Like every single every single drive, we had open holes every single time. So shout out to our line. They did good. Um, we kind of came in. We knew we were the underdog. 
Uh, we just came out, we wanted to play physical, we did, and then we showed what can happen with the score, so. Now, we just heard your coach talking about some recognition and stuff like that. I talk to Tyler Johnson all the time, and he says you are one of the most talented players in all of Arizona. What's it mean for you to get that kind of compliment from somebody that's there? He's, he's a freak athlete, and we played together my sophomore year, his senior year. Um, so we got kind of close then, and then to hear him say that, that's awesome. So I'm one of the only media members that has you guys in the top 10. Um, what do you got to say to the rest of them? Uh, let them sleep. Let them sleep on Highland. Let's go. Hey, y'all stop that, though. Cody, Ralph, all you guys. This dude's the real deal. Y'all stop playing. What did you see out there that just allowed you guys to dunk 49 on them? Uh, well, we uh, we went in thinking, wow, we're going to have to pass, right? We looked what Shaft did. They throw for 100, 400. So we're like, we're going to do the same thing, right? So they kind of made an adjustment on our passing game, and so our run game was there. So it's really just a big thing of uh, film study. We film study all the time. We look at what they're doing. We look at little keys. We like to know uh, little things that they like to do. They get in their habits, right? Everybody has habits, so we like to find theirs and then expose them. Rumor has it that you are a super film junkie, that you are always watching game film. The other team, your own team, what tendencies did you see that allowed you to just open up the scoring? Um, tonight, they, they stayed in a heavy cover four a lot, and then uh, we, we put it into where if they were to go cover zero, which was their second thing, we had plays we put in place for that. So, um, How special is it, uh, the relationship with you and uh, Connor Cullimore on the field? It seems like you guys have like a cosmic connection. Yeah, we've been friends since junior high, man. I mean, we've grown up together, we've done everything together, so that connection just starts not out here on the football field. What did you grade yourself today for your Hamilton performance on today, your debut? Today I thought we did pretty good. I mean, we put up 49 on a, on a pretty good defense. So uh, I grade, I'd, I'd give myself a pretty good grade today. I keep telling people that you guys are that one special athlete away, which I think you guys will get once the transfers are cleared. Nick Arve comes back, plays a quarterback. Brandon Shanks can, you know, help you athletically. You got to come out there and actually prove that we could be that team that we know we can be. Because right now, we're looking at one of the worst Hamilton teams, and we just got to get it going. We got to switch something up. But this isn't it. You're going to put in that work still. You have three touchdowns. What can we expect down the road? We're going to figure it out this week. We're going to be back for sure.